My name is Caleb Sam. Um, you are at Financial Hub Forex Academy. What we specialize on doing over here is that we train people on how to trade in the financial markets profitably. And we are at Lovington Mall, Chandarana Building, fourth floor. So we got into the business back in 2016. That's when we were introduced to Forex. So I never knew anything about Forex or the financial markets. But 2016 is when I was introduced to this big world of the financial markets. And back in 2016, the financial markets in Kenya were not yet regulated. So during that time, we had seen a lot of people on social media. You know, we got that hype from people and we wanted to do the same thing they're doing. We're seeing young people, entrepreneurs, they're trading, they're making a good money, uh, having a good lifestyle. So we wanted to do the same thing. And most of these people we are seeing were not from this country, America, South Africa. So those people really, really influenced us. So when we started, um, we started with a couple of bucks and we made a couple of money, but we lost it all. Now the problem came where we couldn't find anyone to teach us. We came online, markets weren't regulated, so there was a lot of scams going on in Forex back in 2016 and previous, before that time. So now we decided, let's learn for ourselves, let's learn deeply how Forex works, and along the way, we'll end up teaching people on how to trade profitably and in the professional way. So we don't sell this lifestyle of um, come and trade and make money in two months, three months. We don't sell that lifestyle because we don't believe in it. J trading and Forex, just like any other career, takes a lot of time. It takes four to five years to learn the basics, the skills, to become profitable. For us, it took us about three, four years before we even started seeing anything professionally, before we were just doing guesswork and we saw money, lost money, but now it got to a point where now we are making consistent returns and that's now what we train our students here at Financial Hub. One, we use our own personal experience. Okay, but see Kilamtuan Takaku learn, okay, Caleb, you learned this way, I can learn a different way. We've seen other people doing it in two months, three months, you know, the people who are just selling a lifestyle. So no, for us, we focus on showing people the big picture, the people who have done it, not in this country, not in Africa, because Africa is really picking up. We show the people the bigger picture, the big industry. We talk about investment banks, hedge funds. That's what we want to grow to become. We're not only talking about being retail traders at this level. At this level, retail traders are anyone like you, me, anyone else who can put in um, uh, on a thousand bob, just put in some money, go try your luck. That's more of gambling. So we're showing people the bigger picture. What are people doing now? For example, there's someone we really look up to. For, uh, his name is Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio runs the biggest hedge fund in the world. Sort of more or less what we do. Now his fund has about $200 billion in assets under management. Now, such a person is not looking to double his money. He's looking only to make 10% per year. How much is 10%? That's $20 billion, okay? Now we've gone to, we've stretched so far. Now we're coming back to us. Let's say you have, which is still a stretch, but let's say you have 10 million Kenya shillings. Let's be local. Let's think of it professionally. Now I'm telling someone, we want to be looking to making about 5 to 10% consistently on a monthly basis. That's 500 to a, a 1 million Kenya shillings, 500,000 to a million. That's good returns. So stop thinking about uh, doubling your money. People who are thinking like that are people with small accounts. So on a 10k upper, you're deciding, hey, let me try my luck here and there. Then they try to double it. Because if you tell someone with 10,000 Kenya shillings, just make 10% a month consistently, that's a thousand. To them, they're saying this is not sustainable. We want something more. We want to double our money. But if you tell someone with lots of cash, someone who's thinking in the long term, now 10% to him is good. His only work is to go and look for more capital, Okay, that's the goal, then just make your 10% consistently. So we try and show that picture and show the reality of it and how hard it is to make such a return, but we show how you can, it's possible. It's not an impossibility, it's very possible. So when we started, the good thing was, and what really kept us consistent and resilient, was that we were a group of five. Okay, so we started me, uh, Taras, Ken, uh, our friend Malims and Wahito, another lady. So we were five of us and we had the same goal, we had the same mindset, the goal was to learn. So there are times Taras would lose money, there are times I'd lose money, on the other days Ken is making money. So that consistency of seeing someone else making, others losing, but we are all working as a community. And trading, I don't really see many successful traders who worked alone. So from back then we learned to work as a team, we learned to work together, uh, motivate one another. Um, people get demoralized along the way, but along the way, if you motivate one another, you see someone else, when you're having bad days, it doesn't necessarily mean someone else is having bad days. Um, 
And when they're having good days, it doesn't necessarily mean the bad days are not going to come. So when you have that mindset and we're working together, that's how we kept each other solid, we kept each other accountable to one another, and that's how we grew the fund, and that's how we grew the team, the school, and that's how we learned a lot about Forex markets, doing a lot of research. Now, when we're working as a team as well, Ken could search something, Taras would search something, we would hold meetings when we were back in a bed sitter back then, we'd sit together and we, we bought a whiteboard. It's the only thing we invested in the house. We didn't have a TV, we didn't have anything. So the whiteboard is where, okay, everyone does research, you're given different topics. Now, we were learning faster as a team. So instead of learning alone and reading all this book, everyone can take a page of the book, go learn about it, come and present it. We question, we debate, we learn on the job. So that's what we did and that's what really kept us going. So we started the school not because that was our goal. Trust you me, Sukwana Jua one day I'll become a teacher. That, that I, I had, I, you know the way people are asked in school, what do you want to be when you grow up? Being a teacher was not my goal, okay, because um, I wanted to be something else, you know, you're looking at those pilots, uh, doctor, engineer, but for me I wanted to become uh, more or less, I wanted to do more film, I'm more of a creative person. But to cut that long story short, what happened along the way was that people were asking us, so we started our YouTube channel, okay, back then, and then we started our website. Now all this was our own money being put into this ecosystem of financial markets, the forex market, where we are seeing no one was training anyone, no one was posting how they're trading, no one was posting the ideas about the dollar, about gold. So when we were doing that, people started asking us, how can we learn? You guys are looking like you know what you're talking about. How can we get classes? So that's how we started. It wasn't our goal, it was just feedback from people. So when we were doing that, now we wrote, uh, we used to write templates, small, small notes on our website. Now people used to learn from that, but they wanted deeper. So what did we do? We wrote um, a book, a small ebook, e which we started distributing. Then people were like, they want more, they were hungry for more knowledge. So what did we end up doing? We had a YouTube channel where we could educate people, share information and all that. But people now wanted a more concentrated course where they can sit and learn everything. So when we got that feedback from people, this is when we decided, okay, let's write our own book. And that's what we did. We wrote this book, A Template for Understanding the Forex Market, which took us about two years. So it wasn't just wake up, write a book. It took us research data because we wanted to talk about um, research to well thought of things. Okay, so that's what did there. And then luckily, I had some background in film and TV. So I could sit there with my phone and record Taras, Ken and I um, and shoot courses and come and edit them and then put them on an online course platform. So that's how the uh, course started and that's how we started teaching people. Now when we started that, people, we used to meet people, uh, what we call briefcase meetings. I'm sure you know about that. And that's going to restaurants, and then when they come back the next day, they won't find you in the same place. So there was no good enough trust there. So that's when we decided to open a Forex Academy and got an, our first office in town, and that's how we started training people. So we have a different wide range of clientele, and lucky enough, we've been humbled to get to tutor even people who are in their 50s. And 60s, we, we have our oldest uh, student, I won't mention their name, but he's in their 60s. And we're humble enough that these people can come and learn from us. But that doesn't mean we have a big range of older people. Most of our students are between 18 to 30. Okay, so we have our three different type of clientele. We're looking for students who have just finished high school and they're looking to start a career. So you're showing them that Forex is a career they can indulge in and take it as a full-time professional career. Two, we have people in university. So the university students, come in two cohorts. There are people looking for something else to do. They have a career already, but they're looking for something else, you know, multiple skills. So we have such, there are people who are looking for ways to get pocket money, ways to earn more, okay? And the other people just looking for something else to do. What they're studying in school, like I did when I was in university, I remember I dropped out of engineering, I didn't want to do that. You're just looking for something else. So we offer also for them. And then postgraduates, people who have just finished school and they want to do another skill. So we do that for them. And then the last cohort we have is the corporate classes. Now these are people from 25 to 50 years old. So we get different people and we're humble enough people. The good thing about us and why many students have come for us at an older age is because we sell the truth, okay? You know, the older you get, the more you know things take time. I don't sell the dream of things are short term. 
So the young people want to hear such things. The older people want to hear that this is a skill you're going to take time. So they know that it takes time because they're already in their professional careers and they know what it takes. And that's the same thing we sell to the young people and to the older people. It's going to take time and we are the right people who can teach you and show you the proper step-by-step -step guidance to get to that goal. How we got into the Forex market, if I give you a bit of a backstory, um, personally, I, I finished high school back in 2015 and joined engineering. Now, engineering was something my mom wanted me to. It was sort of both of us, but she's one who was really pushing for it. I didn't want to do that. I was more of a film student. I wanted to do TVs. I like movies. Now, when I movies, I see those actions. To me, it's sort of magical, seeing someone flying people having supernatural powers. I wanted to do that. I had that childlike dream in me and I wanted to pursue that. So I tried dropping out in Form 2. So I sat down with my parents and told them, you know, I want to go to New York. I used to watch these people like Jaden Smith, you know, the karate kid. He's young, he's a kid. And I was like, I also want to go do the same. Why am I wasting time? I didn't enjoy chemistry that much. I was like, why am I doing chemistry and I can do film? But to cut the long story short, I finished high school, which was a good thing that I was able to do. Then now I joined university. Now joining university, I'm not doing what I wanted. Okay, but the good thing is it, it was a blessing in disguise. This is where I found my partner, Ken. This is where we met. Okay, we became very good friends. We didn't know where our future would take us. Okay, but both of us didn't want to do what we were doing. So I ended up dropping out of um, studying engineering from the Technical University of Kenya. Ken also dropped out and went to study something else. Personally, I went to study film at a school called ADMI. Okay, I was there for about two years. So while I was there is when I learned about Forex. So my cousin came from the UK and introduced me to Forex and she was making good returns and I was like, how did you learn how to do this? And she was like, she just, she, was, she, taught, she taught herself online, she went online, read books, and she was able to teach herself. And I personally saw, I can do that. I want to become financially free, I want to do that. So I started becoming interested in the Forex market. That was in 2016. And that's how we started learning. Now Ken on the other side was introduced to Forex because he went to KU. So in KU is where he met our third partner, Taras Lawi, and they're in the same class. And they were introduced to Forex by our other good friend. And they decided to drop out of doing, now they are doing electrical engineering, to do Forex full time. So we are all, we decided to drop out. None of us has degrees, none of us have um, papers. We don't have papers. Our highest learning degree, uh, learning papers was KCSE. Um, we wanted to get to a point where, when you're talking about engineering and you're talking about trading, you're sort of put in the same room and you're respected in the same way. Now, if you talk about Forex, people will be like, it's that scammer, it's that person who does this, trying gambling. So we're trying to create that mindset to teach people that engineering and Forex are more or less the same, such that you can respect it and you can listen to both people doing their respective industries. So that's the financial goal. That's our goal with Financial Hub. We want to take Forex to a level where everyone respects it and everyone understands that you can do this as a career. Hello, my name is Lawi, uh, Taras Lawi. I'm the co-founder here at Financial Hub, together with uh, my partners, Ken and Caleb. And I'm also the risk manager, uh, trader, and also a trainer. Uh, my role on risk management is majorly for the three of us as a fund, because we trade a fund, an in-house fund. We don't trade for people. But as we trade, trading is all about trying to get a reward from the markets. But at the same time, you need to understand that there is some high level of risks in trading that you need to understand them, uh, mitigate them, and at least uh, ensure that they don't take you out of business. So basically my role is ensuring that the three traders, uh, the three of us, we are always uh, taking trades at the maximum risk level that we should uh, and not surpass our maximum uh, risk levels at any one point. Our exposures have to be uh, put at a specific limit and my role is to ensure that we don't. Trading is very, very risky and I think it's, it's general knowledge out there about how many people lose money in trading, uh, basically due to poor risk management. So uh, my role here is to ensure that we have a stringent risk management process that we follow, uh, having very, very uh, strict rules uh, in terms of risk exposure per trade and per day and also per week. 
So my role is to ensure that the three traders, Miken and Caleb, we follow a strict and stringent risk management process to ensure that as we try to get a return from the markets, we also uh, ensure we cover our downside to a specific limit so that we ensure we don't lose all our, 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 of our investments. Uh, it's a very, very fun place, uh, hanging around or working together with uh, my friends and my colleagues, because my partners are also my friends, we start the business as friends. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Uh, very many things happening around, because we're always trading, uh, creating content, and also training people. So there's multiple thing, things happening. Uh, of course, meetings uh, with partners. Uh, so it's a very interesting uh, concept every day. So uh, trading, uh, come early in the morning, update on the trades we have. Miken and Caleb we will update each other on the trades. Then I'll probably jump into a class, like Ken right now is in a class, so I'll jump into a class and teach what I do teach. Uh, I basically teach fundamentals of trading, uh, risk management, and also I teach uh, my strategy of trading, which is called value area trading. So it's a blend of teaching, training, uh, working, basically running the company with my sales people, my uh, content creation people, yeah. So we have multiple products and services. Uh, I'll start with our main product, which is a two-month course. That is our physical course. Basically, we've said we train people on how to trade. So we have a physical course, uh, which goes for two months. Uh, you'll be having two classes every week. Uh, each class is two hours. Uh, and uh, you choose uh, a day, uh, those two days, according to how uh, uh, your schedule is uh, personally. So we schedule you according to how your schedule is. Uh, for those two months. So that course goes for 50,000 right now. Uh, we also have an online course. So for those who are not around Nairobi and can't access the physical location, uh, we have a virtual course. So you can do the same, same course, but virtually from wherever you are. It can be Nakuru, Eldoret, America, uh, South Africa. And you can interact with us one-on-one -on -one virtually, either through Zoom or through Google. Uh, that is another product. It's a virtual class, same to the one we have in physical, just a virtual inter uh, interaction. Then we also have another course again, which is now purely online, not virtual. So you won't be interacting with a tutor, but it's pre-recorded courses. That course goes for 10,000 shillings at the moment. Again, we have our book. I think Caleb has shown you our book. We have our book, which goes for 2,000, a template for understanding the currency market, which is basically a book to take any beginner from understanding the basics of trading to what is needed of you to become a good trader. Uh, there's a lot of room for this business to grow. It's actually a very young business. We got our first we got our first license here in Kenya in 2017, so the business is relatively young. And I see this as a frontier for many youths, especially currently with uh, the high unemployment menace in the country and also in Africa. It's a path for most youths to try and build something for themselves, by themselves again, because uh, trading just needs you to basically have that thirst for, uh, thirst for knowledge. If you have the thirst for knowledge, uh, to learn about markets, you can easily, easily uh, make something out of your own. Uh, like for me, Ken and Caleb, we were self-taught. We didn't really, really uh, go into an institution to learn, but we spent so much time uh, dedicating to learning on our own. So if you have that uh, grit, again, I, I believe it's a, it's a frontier for employment for most youths. My name is Kenneth Onene. I'm a co-founder at Financial Hub, and I'm also a trainer. So my main job is basically sharing with people how we trade the financial markets, how you look at markets, and how you can be able to benefit from forex trading. Uh, we have an advantage, and the advantage we have of our competitors is the first mover advantage. So we started what we were doing long time ago in 2016, 2017. Back then, there were no regulations in the market. So not many people were interested in pursuing forex trading. But after regulations came, we started getting uh, competition. And we have competition from two main fronts. So we have competition from people who are trying to train people like us, and we have like two institutions currently, and then we have competition also from the brokerage side. However, we are not really so much competitors with our brokers. We tend to be to have sort of a symbiotic relationship because they don't make much of their money from training, educating people. Instead, they make their money from charging you the commission and spread on your trading. So those are our main competitors, and how we manage to stay ahead of them is one, we're the only ones who are very transparent with our trading. So we tend to share with people what we're doing. We're practitioners rather than theory, theory people. So we share with people the practical aspects of trading when you're looking at markets. That gives us a very, very good advantage. We also have packaged ourselves in a way that we have online programs and physical programs. So you can benefit whether you're in Nairobi or whether you're outside Nairobi. 
one of the main problems that we have gotten is once you mention the word forex it comes with a lot of baggage in it uh, technology is something useful but technology can also be misused especially when you combine technology and finance now we have forex which is a promise that you can make money and people have abused it and used it to scam people tell people you can make this level of returns for example you can double your money every month uh, and that has brought in a very very shoddy name when you tell people that you're doing forex so that's one of the main challenges that we had to sort of overcome how do you bring out yourself as a trusted brand and someone who's promoting the right way the right ethics when you're looking at markets and how do you differentiate yourself from the scammers out there who are trying to just get money out of people's pockets that's one of the main challenges we had another challenge that we recently had was when we were trying to expand our business so scaling up the business was also quite a challenge however we've been managed to sort of like break through that one and move to the other side of the world so that was not really a big challenge the main challenge however is the shoddiness that's brought in by people trying to scam people from forex trading if you're told that you're going to make money fast run away and run away as fast as possible when we started trading we came in with the same mindset in a year or two we'll be rich it's seven years down the line we've still not gotten where we wanted to be when we started we're still grinding hustling and learning so as you come into this market i tell you have an open mind be willing to learn do your own research consult the right people and give yourself time if you have those as the package if you come into the right mindset then you'll stand a chance and probably be able to make that money that most people don't want to make but not fast <music>